So we have seen how we can use uh, an image in image to image section of the playground AI to generate variants and create style fusion. Now we'll see how instead of using an image, a, we can create a doodle or scribble to create a ready to use image. So we have playground AI open here. And in the image to image section, I have two options. One is a plus sign to upload an image. The other is a pencil or a brush icon. I click on the brush icon. Uh, it opens up uh, a draw something, but before that, let me actually select the right image dimension. So I'm going to use a landscape because I'm going to generate a landscape painting. So with that, remove it, click on it again. Now I have a landscape canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a scenery of a mountain and a river flowing uh, from the forest. Uh, so let's actually uh, increase the brush size. Let's first create the sky. So I'll create the sky using light blue. Right, so I'll just draw the upper section of the image using this light blue to represent the sky. And uh, it can be any uh, color, so you don't have to uh, select blue and uh, that way, but I think this is definitely going to help. So I have the blue sky painted. Next, let me select dark green to represent the forest. So I have the dark green. Paint it the dark green to represent the forest. That's fine. Next, let me select uh, brown to select the uh, mountains. So I have a brownish. So these are going to be my mountains. Great, let me select yellow for the sun. Great, and let me select again this time dark blue to represent my river. So my river is flowing this way. Great. Let me draw the river again. Cool. So I have the doodle in image image ready. Let me actually put a prompt there. A sun rising behind the mountains in a clear blue sky. Tall mountains, river flowing between the mountains through the lush green forests. Birds flying, nature and etc. So let's uh, set the rest of the settings. 
So this is a landscape image and uh, the number of steps uh, 20 because I'm doing exploration. Uh, randomize 4 and uh, private session. Click on generate. Set the columns to 4. Great. So I can see uh, it basically generated uh, of mountains and I think this bird chirping is not a good idea. So let me actually remove the birds and I'll keep the nature and uh, another setting that I want to do is I want to select the PLMS. Great. And let's try again. Interesting. I think uh, probably none of these images I want to use. I'll click on generate again. Interesting. I think this one makes it night. This is an interesting image. Let me view full screen. Cool. Let's actually work with this particular image. I'll select this and send it to use image to image. Now what I do is I select a filter that's going to help me um, set the tone right. So storybook filter is an amazing filter. It helps with um, uh, such uh, artwork. So click on generate. Interesting. So it has uh, added some sort of a element of its own to it. So let me set the columns to two. That's fine. I think these are really interesting images. This one. The STRYBK was added by the filters. Nice, interesting. I think I have a lot of options now. Definitely, this looks very interesting. Then I can uh, upscale it and I can actually use it in my artwork if I want. So, this is how we created a painting, uh, a final artwork using Doodle. It's ready, it's much better and uh, definitely looks like a production grade.